It's about time we have this conversation. You and me, mano a mano, man to man, face to face, you get the point. It's time to answer the question that's been in my head for a while now. Is Epi done with YouTube? No. <laughs> But it's hard to explain. I wanted to make this video basically to let you all know what's been going on as not everyone checks the community tab and makes it easier for me to not write a 2000 plus word essay. I'll be talking about the pile of things that have happened in the past few months as well as some changes that will come to the channel, some of which will make the Epi Direct 2024 age fine as a lovely gallon of milk that's actually expired and has been sitting outside the front door for the past three days. Anyway, since it'll just be my voice that you'll be hearing only with stuff scattered in between, it's best to leave this video on in the background and do whatever you need to do. Unless you love to hear me talk while watching some mediocre gameplay and small visuals in between. So without any further delay, let's hop into it. A while ago I wrote a community post in which it's best to read before watching this video as this basically serves as a continuation of that post, but to quickly give you the Clips Notes version of it and to also bring up something I said at the beginning of 2020, I kinda wanna step away from Splatoon as I don't really want that to be the main focus of the channel. I know, big shocker. It was a big shocker indeed how terribly aged that statement was. Splatoon has been the backbone of this channel for the past 3-4 to four years and there's been numerous videos that I enjoyed making, such as the drinking videos, but then I started to get a bit too ambitious on some projects such as 300 floor side order and put out fillers such as side order jumpling edition. I'm very harsh when it comes to self-criticism because when I finish up a video and upload something that would be considered funny, I would not feel the same way after a while. On top of all that, I started to feel burned out, wasn't too proud with some of the stuff I made as of late, and editing was getting repetitive because of a shitty editing software and a piece of broken hardware, which I'll get into later. My plan was to retire this channel after Splatoon 3's Grand Festival, which would have been a good send-off as I've been raising this channel for almost 11 years. I ultimately went up against that plan because I believe that there is still potential for me to grow and that I didn't want to leave on a whimper just because I had a declining channel. There are new things I would like to try out to present my content differently compared to how I've done it the past couple of years. So moving forward, Splatoon isn't going anywhere from this channel, but I will be giving room for other games from different genres to fit in, whether that be Lethal Company, Mario, or Barbie Horse Adventures Mystery Ride. I had thoughts of making a second channel where it'd be focused on stream highlights and gameplays outside of Splatoon, while it would give me some good room to branch out and keep myself organized, it's another channel for one guy to manage, and I'll most likely be in the ER because I'm burned out into oblivion. It might be something to think about again in the future depending on how things go, but in the meantime that idea won't be considered. And I know a lot of people already know this, but you'll most likely catch me streaming on Twitch, as that's where I've been the past few weeks. There is a chance I'm live when you're watching this video, so I won't bother you too much with this, but the link is in the description if you want to check that out. Here's some quick highlights to give you an idea of what the streams are like. Oh my god! Oh, for fuck's sake, dude! Alright, we're we loaded straight in. That's a new. <laughs> What? Anyway, another reason why content has been super slow and my motivation's at rock bottom is that my PC decided to cut its life short by no longer working properly. I've been using a laptop for the past four years, a vital tool in my life as it's helped me through personal life experiences such as college and internships, and of course, sharing content online. The biggest issue from this is that a lot of my most important data is stuck directly on the PC, and it's important to get it out unless it's repaired. I decide to open a coffee and start a campaign dedicated to raising money for repairs. It's never easy to ask my audience for money, but when I did, this happened. Hold on, if I refresh now. No! Guys! At the time of recording this, it is now undergoing repairs and will now be paid in full when it's finished. So I really have to thank everyone who was there to help me out with that massive obstacle. The coffee is still open for those who want to drop in and donate, as this is the best way to support me and the stuff I make. And of course, rewards will be given out in return. And that's all I have to talk about, so no, I'm not going anywhere. I'll still be making videos and making sure that you all get the best content that you subscribe to me for. Because I won't be uploading as much anymore, I'll make sure that whenever I do, it will be peak. This channel has been an entire half of my life and is not something I want to leave just yet. I know this won't get as much compared to my regular videos, but if you're still here, please drop a like and share with your friends. That will make me smile just as much as I left Twitter for a better place. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all again, whether it's on stream or in a video that'll come out soon.